Hello everyone. So today I'm going to talk about the ESFP, the opportunist to continue my Explain Correctly series. So why the opportunist for the ESFP? Well, the idea is that out of all the types, this is the one that is most alert in the present to the opportunities around them that they might be able to pursue or potentially exploit to essentially seek opportunities to advance their personal achievement, you could say. That's a very big thing for the ESFP. And those opportunities can be both with, um, it can be with certain tasks, certain goals, but can also be with people, seeking opportunities with others as well. It's very much a part of the ESFP. Um, they are also types which are unlikely to stick to a certain way of doing things. They are very fluid, very pragmatic types. And so for them, it's all about the various opportunities they can find in sort of a whatever works kind of way in that moment. So very versatile types, ESFP, and very much promote versatility. Um, so first of all, let's start with the ego block. That's what they value, what they are very strong at. And for the ESFP, this is extroverted sensing and introverted feeling. This is a type which brings together both um, the sensory and the interpersonal. And they take an approach to that that is quite politically savvy. What I mean by that is they are very inclined to read the amount of um, force of will someone can have in a certain environment, someone's uh, potential ability to be evade or to be a threat. And they're very confident in being able to assess that in a person, assess the character of someone, that person's intentions, and whether those intentions are going to be beneficial or potentially harmful in their intentions. And ESFPs are very good at setting up their relationships with people uh, based on their assessment of character. And the idea is that for them, they work with various relationships to their advantage. They are a type whose strength, whose power, whose um, ability to independently achieve is also based on the relationships they are able to form, the networks they are able to build. Um, so yeah, in each relationship, they're going to be the more dominant one in that relationship. Now, the idea is that we have the dominant function here, which is extroverted sensation. So first and foremost, the ESFP is going to be about having that impact on the moment, getting what they want in that particular moment. They are highly tactical people. They're very alert. They're very quick minded. They're able to very swiftly move from noticing a problem or seeing an opportunity and acting upon it and being there first. These are very competitive types. They want to get there first before anyone else. And they're going to make sure they're going to get there first before anyone else. Very, very quick actors, the ESFP. Um, now, the idea is that there is something concrete or tangible which they want to be achieving. They want to be successful often. They want to be able to overcome any kind of barriers in their life. And most, first and foremost, they want to be able to exercise their autonomy on their surroundings. These are not types who will give over their power and autonomy to someone else. In any relationship they form, they will be the more dominant one. They will make, make sure that no one is in charge of them. They are in charge of themselves. It's not that they want to control others. It's just that they won't let anyone else be the controller of them. And that's the key thing, to protect their independence. Now, supporting this kind of extroverted sensation is far more independently minded, more about achievements, more about overcoming obstacles and exploiting opportunities. But to support this is their introverted feeling. So the idea here is that the ESFP is someone who's a very quick read of character. They very quickly know from talking to someone, from getting, looking them in the eye, from reading their body language, how much they can trust that person. What kind of relationship is this going to be? They're also very tough people because of extrovert sensation. They're very assertive. They're able to get what they want. So these are also types who, even if you aren't the most savory character, they'd be 
confident they'd be able to handle you if you became a problem and they'd be able to get that measure of you and what you're likely to do and you know whether they can handle that sort of potential confrontation or not later because they're very good at confrontations they're the sort these are the sorts of types who are able to confront you yet still preserve the relationship the way they want that relationship to be preserved it's a very strong skill that they have um but essentially that introverted feeling with the esfp it's kind of a harsh judgment thing esfps they get that sense of you what you're about if they don't think you're trustworthy they're going to create the appropriate boundary or distance with you they're not going to let you in close they're not going to let you near to their actual friends and the people who they think actually be protected from you if you're of an unsavory character but likewise if they form a good friendship with you they will be out to protect you they will be out to do things for you because they won't expect to be one way it to be you know transaction some degree but they're a very able to understand what someone is and what kind of relationship to build with each person and in this the introverted feeling is the more flexible part to suit them in pursuing what they want in going after the things which are their desires they are very good at building the right relationships which are conducive to this and they will build a different kind of relationship with each person each person treats as an individual and in each case that relationship will serve the interests of ESFP very effectively again they always are dominant in their relationships they be to be able they need to be able to think decisively act autonomously and the relationships help to preserve it it's having the, these allies which means that an ESFP is never going to be a type you can remove your autonomy from at least ideally because they've got friends they've got people who are going to help if needed and similarly they will be more than willing with their energy to go out and help others who have earned their loyalty um so yeah that's what i say about um introverted feeling um now i have a super ego block this is what the esfp isn't good at and doesn't value so this is essentially the theoretical space ESFPs are not people of theory. They are people of action. They are people of success and going out and achieving material goals. They have no interest in theorizing for the sake of theorizing. There needs to be a point to it for an ESFP to really be interested in this sort of thing. Now, the thing they can do a bit more of is the extrovert intuition. ESFPs are naturally direct. they're naturally able to confront people very effectively without ruining the relationship which is the key thing um but they aren't types which enjoy sort of indirect speculation on different ways of potentially doing things and just having a talking shop rather than acting the esfp demands action they create the urgency for action to happen so they prefer to take a problem head on they like to use their force of will to accomplish this to some degree and they have a great deal of force of will they definitely have that intensity uh, and desire to actually take action which is very strong in them but at the same time despite preferring that more direct head on approach they do remain open to new ideas and new perspectives to a certain degree they're able to recognize where thinking outside the box may actually be more valuable here and we're actually getting a good number of different good number of different perspectives from different people in the network would be very valuable to look at a problem at a different angle which could actually be advantageous um so yeah the extrovert intuition is there but ultimately they may be find themselves exploring different ideas and the search for some sort of deeper meaning but i did what they really want is access to that depth of meaning that more significant approach rather than just have the many different possibilities presented to them that is subpar but they may actually have to end up doing because they don't have access to that deeper significance themselves um the other thing we have here is introverted thinking which is the blind spot the vulnerable function for the ESFP ESFPs really struggle with um the idea of structural thinking they are pure pragmatists they are a whatever works sort of person so if if confronted with different theories and ideas they may just take bits and pieces and mash them together and see whatever works even if what they have is completely contradictory they have no real respect for theory and philosophy in terms of these principles make sense in regards of the situation for an ESFP everything 
is in that situation. How do things work? How effectively did it work? What um, what would be the thing which you have learned from experience which would work best here? They're not going to then take that lesson and apply it in a different situation. They are not a type which is going to feel happy with you sort of generalizing your rules to many different ideas and situations. They may get very frustrated if they're trying to achieve something and there's red tape getting in the way, depriving them of their autonomous decision-making capability to think this is actually the best um, commercial outcome to pursue or this outcome in general. They do not like this. They will question it. They'll think, what is the point of this? How is this actually helping? Why are these rules in place? And they won't necessarily, they, they won't easily appreciate the idea that a rule is in place because it all fits together better that way. They won't see the, the benefit of that. They won't see any sort of, um, they certainly won't respect that way of thinking. They'll respect, does it work? How is it actually helping? How can this be put to use? How can this be improved? And yeah, similarly, um, they are going to be a type, which is also about, um, it's also not interested in, as I, as I said before, theory, philosophy, uh, theology for its own sake. It's what's commercial, it's what's practical, it what actually gets things working, what actually uh, accomplishes things as effectively as possible. So, yeah, intro thinking is not their cup of tea one bit. Um, and, yeah, you may find they may actually end up being very erratic types. They may play hard and fast with the rules and the structures and the ideologies around them, not seeing any reason for why there should be this ideology, and that can actually lead to difficulty. Uh, some of the time. Um, next, you have a super id block. This is what is valued, but which is not strong. So for the ESFP, that's N-I-N-T. That's the strategic commercial thinking. That's where is it going in the long run and how is it going to work? How are we going to get there? How effectively is it going to accomplish our goals further down the line? ESFPs are not very good at this, um, especially introverted intuition, which is a suggestive function. ESFPs naturally live in the moment. They're about action in the here and now. They're naturally quite impulsive. They can often be quite headstrong and charge after things and not look further ahead to see why that actually may be them darting into a trap situation. They are people of action right now. And yeah, despite this, what they often benefit from are people who can look ahead for them and say, no, that's actually a bad idea. That's going to lead to this direction. They're, they're inclined to listen to this. They still won't be told what to do. They'll certainly glad to be advised and draw from different connections and friendships with people who have that strategic insight, you could say. At the same time, the ESFP is a type which is looking for that deeper meaning and purpose in their life. You know, looking at the various possibilities and pursuing their curiosity is one thing. It, it still returns more trivial information for them and what they're really looking for is something deeper something which actually has some kind of well it lines up in some kind of meaningful way it gives them a direction without it ESFPs can just pursue multiple uh, tactical objectives um almost aimlessly and it's the idea they're they're tacticians and not strategists so it's a struggle to line up their various actions and exploits and um, in, and situations and initiatives to some sort of longer term outcome to pursue. So that's the one of the struggles of the ESFP. It's sort of detaching from acting right here, right now to see where things are going in the longer run. Um, however, what an ESFP can do a little bit better is their extroverted thinking. And this is essentially what the ESFP grows into. They come to recognize rather quickly, having been sort of people pleasers, at least to start off with in life, and we'll go into that in the demonstrated function in a bit, but to, um, they move out of that people pleasing towards developing their individual competence and acquiring the knowledge, because knowledge is power, to be as competent as they can be and thereby overcome more obstacles become more efficient, more effective, be at the top of their game, utilizing the facts at their disposal. Again, ESFPs are highly competitive. They want to win. And to win, to go out there, to act intensely and actually win, they need to be constantly taking initiative, but also constantly learning, 
acquiring the factual information needed to become competent. So this is the thing. This is where the SFP is, it grows towards. They become more capable of acting competently over time by amassing more and more factual information. That information needs to be factual. That's very important. It can't just be a philosophy. It can't just be a structure for its own sake. They need to know how this actually is practiced and applied. And this means, this is why they become pure pragmatists, because they don't have any regard for structural thinking. It's only whatever works best in this particular situation. And you'll see different, even leaders, political leaders can almost lack any kind of ideology and not be partisan to a way of thinking or doing. But they'll try out different things, throw different methods at a wall to see what sticks and go with what works best. That's the idea of extroverted thinking with no introverted thinking in the picture. Um, next, we have um, the id block. This is what is not valued, but is strong. So this is SI and FE. They're sort of more cushy, comfortable, inclusive, uh, positive emotionality aspect of someone. So for the ESFP, this is not valued. They could do it. They just don't value it. And as you'll see, with the ignoring function is introverted sensation, ESFPs are restless, ambitious, um, intense individuals. These are not cushy or comfortable. When we think of the ESFP in Myers-Briggs land as sort of cushy, comfortable, fun, entertainer, all the rest. But no, they are very task oriented and they need to measure the quality of character measure the loyalty of people. If you get on the wrong side of them or their friends, they, they will they will make sure you, uh, you know, you, you come to regret that action. They can be uh, sometimes even a bit of indictive with certain individuals. You know, they're not so against the idea of vengeance against people of bad character. So they are rough and tough. They aren't soft and harmonious people. So introverted sensation is a strange thing to them. Yes, they will have the ability to see things in detail, the ability to decide what actually should not be in their in their immediate vicinity or space. Um, they will um, be able to harmonize these characteristics in their day to day lives and be able to be relatively down to earth as well. Uh, but that doesn't mean that they are types which pursue harmony. Now, they will protect their relationships. If they are close to someone, they'll keep those people on side. So it's not as if they're at war with everyone. No. But what it does mean is that in terms of pursuing what they want, they will go after what they want. They won't seek the easy, peaceful route. They, this is a type which is about living a harder life that pushes them to their peak performance. And they really want to be at their peak. They want to be at their best the whole time. And they are hungry for that. And they will shift the goals of their achievement further and further as they continue to restlessly pursue greater achievement. So this is where there's no real room for introvert sensation. Yes, they know their bodily limits. They know how far they could push themselves because of introvert sensation. But it allows themselves to push themselves at their maximum more frequently. Again, it goes back to that intensity once more. And that idea that they need to be able to overcome any obstacle that ends up in their way for their personal achievement. Now, the other part is the demonstrator function. And this in the ESFP will use far more frequently. Now, the idea here is that ESFPs are quite charming individuals. They are very confident in their ability to win people over. They will come across they'll make sure they come across you in the way they want to come across they utilize both introverted feeling and extroverted feeling very effectively they can both work with crowds and they can work on the one-to-one -one with individuals they can build your loyalty but also come across in such a positive way that they can actually win people over who don't even know them very well they're just very good in that space and they kind of take that for granted that's this is here's the point whereas esfps will take their loyalties very seriously they will take their charm very lightly. They'll wear it lightly. They will know they're very likable people. They can come across well to others. They're okay with that. So it doesn't mean that they are interested in making sure that they are liked by everyone. They might not care for that at all. 
This is the idea. When they're less healthy, they may be more likely to be people pleasers. But over time, they become far more focused on their personal competence and capability. And so they they realize, you know, I don't have to please everyone. What's the point of that? That's not going to accomplish things. I'm going to instead focus on those individuals of quality that I feel are most important, that I care about the most. And other people, you know, I can utilize extroverted feeling to maybe even provoke some drama if needed, if that's going to suit me, my finances, if that's what I want to be doing. Or I just may actually challenge people in quite a direct way without actually caring about the emotional reaction as a result, because I'll decide to do that. ESFPs, again, they don't care so much about the extra the feeling. They're aware of it, and they'll certainly, you know, in most situations, try to make sure that they're coming across well to people and winning people over, but they don't they don't pursue that intrinsically. And that's the key thing. They're able to be highly charismatic, able to win over people of different points of view very effectively. They can make natural leaders even and find the way to pitch things to win people over in their team very effectively. But they aren't, they don't need to be liked. They need to feel competent. And so they can be happy to compromise in this area if need be. Um, they're certainly going to want people around them who are not charmers, who are not schmoozers, but people who are actually very direct and very blunt. People they can trust speak the truth. They don't care about being flattered. They don't care about how things are coming across in terms of the emotional side. They can just work in that area very effectively. And they also are very good at looking at the mood to gauge how well they're doing because they are very much keep an eye on what the mood is like and how to respond to that. Um, so, yeah, that's the same extra the feeling. Very strong area, not valued for its own sake. Um, so, yeah, that was the ESFP. Um, if you'd like to learn more about this type and all the other types, please consider taking my course, the Socionics Crash Course. You can sign up to that. Simply send an email to worldsocionics at hotmail.com. You know, just say anything, just put in the title course so I know what it's about, and then we can get you to purchase whatever modules you'd like to learn about socionics. This can really unlock for you, for instance, um, finding um, a better path for you in coaching. It could help you for um, your intertype relationships with others. Dating, for instance, it can help you with your career. It can help you with team building. It can help you with all sorts of things. If So if you're interested in learning about socionics, which is the theory behind all of this, the truest approach to Jungian typology, um, please send me an email. So I can help you to find that stuff out. Can be very helpful. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. All the best.